Hey Aries, thank you so much for coming to your reading. This should resonate, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, sometimes you guys have to flip it, so keep that in mind. There will be an extended at the end of the reading, which is available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link for that will be in the comment section below. Also too, there is a giveaway where you can win a free extended reading um, by simply finding the word and then dropping it in the comment section below. I am doing personal readings right now. And the link for that, as well as where you guys can purchase the Neon Awakening Tarot deck will be in the description. All right, Aries, let's just get into it. How does Aries view their current romantic situation? How does Aries view their current romantic situation right now? Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Chariot, the Three of Pentacles. Let's just get these out and then let's start to talk, okay? So here's our spread. Here's what's currently going on. So Aries, first of all, happy birthday. How rude of me not to even acknowledge your guys' birthday, right? Happy birthday, Aries. I love Aries. First and foremost, I just want to give a huge shout out. I fucking love Aries. Let me tell you why. Because you guys are feisty. You're funny as hell. And I just think it's funny when you guys pop off. Like my Gemini ass is like, yes, get it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just fucking love Aries. With that being said... I feel like right now, you know, you're definitely, I don't know why, but I, I, I feel like you're really trying to work towards something here. I feel like you want something. There's something in particular that you want. And I feel like there's a lot of abundance and happiness coming. And I feel like you're very determined to get what you want, especially when it comes to this relationship. But I do feel like Aries, there's something here that's undercover or there's something here where you feel like you're almost sneaking around, but you're very determined to get what you want. Like if, if you're dealing with somebody who is already in a relationship or already has some type of weird ass commitment, I feel like right now you're very determined to succeed. You're very determined to get what you want when it does come to this person. Because this five of swords, right? And this is Venus and Aquarius. Your situation romantically right now is, is very unique, right? And I feel like with this, I do feel like there is some type of movement, e even if you and this person are not necessarily on the up and up, like out, out in front, like if this is a situation that's even being hidden or not necessarily being expressed out loud, there's something here, guys, where it's like you do have some type of movement forward towards your soul purpose, where there is a level of victory here because I see like your wish is being granted. And I do think that there has been a level of pain with this person. I think it's been a bumpy road, right? Let's keep it 100, especially with that. There's something here where, you know, you feel like you've really had to work hard for this. But I definitely feel like there's some type of solid new start or there is some type of conversation that's being had here between you and your person. How does Aries view their current romantic situation? How, how are they viewing it right now? Abundance wanted to come out heart with the key. See, I think that there's somebody here that you really do love. I think that there's somebody here where you and this person are finally having an open dialogue, where you guys are having a level of conversation. And I feel like you're in a position right now where you feel like you can control your destiny, right? That's the chariot. And you're controlling it by putting together a plan and being very, very strategical when it does come to your person and when it comes to the situation around you. How does Aries view their actual person's role in the situation with them? How does, oh, sorry, the dog just like flapped his ears and slapped me with them. Okay, the six of swords. So you view your person as the six of swords, four of cups. Let's get these out and then we'll talk about it. Five of cups. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it's interesting because you also have the Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. You and this person may have recently gone through some type of really big blowout where they had to make it right or you had to make it right or something here may have recently came up with, with, with you and them. But I think that what you're viewing this person as, it's like you and this person are communicating with one another but it's like you're not really talking about what you want to talk about, right? Especially with the Six of Swords. Like the communication is a little bit awkward because I feel like 
you sense that this person is holding back. You sense that this person wants to say more than what they are. And it's like they're not wanting to have this tough conversation with you. And I also feel like, too, there's a little bit of, of unhappiness, right? I think that, you know, you're frustrated and you're not getting what, you're, what you want. And you know that your person is, is not happy. Like, you know that your person is in this place where they want something that they can't have. And I feel like your person right now, how you view them, it's like they may even not be talking about everything that they're going through, but you know that they make you happy and you make them happy. For some of you guys, there genuinely is a lack of conversation here, but I feel like that is changing. The, see, here's the problem, Aries, with your person. Your person is not expressing how they truly feel, the fact that they're upset, the fact that they're depressed, the fact that they do want to have a conversation with you, the fact that they want to open up, the fact that they're sad, like they're very lonely. Like I get a very lonely energy from your person right now and it's because they can't, they can't express themselves. This person has a hard time dealing with their emotions anyways with the five of pentacles, but it's almost like they feel like What's the point of even expressing myself if it's not going to change things? But at the same point in time, you know that even the little bit that your person is saying, you can look at them intuitively and already know what's going on with them, especially with this four of cups, right? But I do sense that there's sadness. And it, and it, and it sucks because I think that the both of you want to be with one another, but there's something here in the center that's holding that's holding the situation back and it's having a conversation about what needs to be let go of. And I feel like there's something here with the five of cups where this person has to let go of something in order for the two of you guys to be together. And that may even be this person saying, okay, I'm done being on the outside looking in. I'm done doing things the way that I've been doing them for a period of time, right? Four of pentacles, going back to past situations and I'm gonna move forward. But I think that that is happening, especially with this Ten of Cups here. How does this person feel romantically about Aries? How do they feel romantically about Aries? Their person. The Six of Cups, your soulmates, you're destined to be with one another. This is an instant connection that they felt immediately. It's almost like you and this person were best friends first. Um, Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Let's get all these guys out. The Queen of Swords and the magician. So here's something that I'm realizing about your person, okay? And I definitely feel like this person thinks a lot about what would happen if you left them. I also feel like this person fantasizes a lot about you. And I, and I, and I think that they're worried that there's gonna come a point, and I just cut the deck, where you completely pull back your energy altogether. And you completely walk away, Aries. I, I, I think that your person is definitely in deep thought about that. But I feel like you and this person were friends first. I think that there's a very magnetic connection, right, between you and this person. I think it was instantaneous. I think that you guys are great friends first. And with this person, you know, it's almost like you're their ace in the hole, right? You have a level of abundance. There, there's a lot of sexual energy here as well, especially with the seven of cups, right? That is a sec that's Scorpio, Venus, and Scorpio. That's hella sexual energy. Like, I feel like this person fantasizes about you. I feel like this person thinks about shit about you that you don't even realize. Some of it even may be taboo. But it's like this person feels guilty because it's almost like, why do I feel this? It's almost like this person can smell you when you're not there. It's like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's the feeling I get, it's it's almost like um like they feel crazy, like you make them feel crazy, like like they feel crazy that they're even in a situation with the fact that they're so obsessive and possessive over you. This, this Venus and Scorpio energy is a very possessive energy, right? And I think that there's a level of obsession because they feel like they can't have you. They wanna move forward with you, but they feel like they're stuck, right? They feel like there's something that they have to hide and they're not happy in their current situation because they want some type of new start with you. And I feel like when it comes to you, Aries, you're very bold and you're very bright and you're very upfront, right? This queen of swords. I think that they really respect your mind. They respect the fact that 
you know, you don't put up with any shit. You don't have a problem telling them, hey, you're wrong, right? And, and, and I feel like Aries, you're one of the people that they do respect, especially with this magician energy. It's like they respect your mind. They respect the fact that you can sit there and be like, you're being an asshole and I'm not doing it with you. Because I feel like a lot of people don't have the balls to really check the person the way that you check them. But the way that you phrase it to this person, you put it in a manner where I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I'm still going to do it in a respectful manner where it makes this person think about things in a different perspective. It's like you give this person the other aspect of it. Think about Libra, right? It's two sides of the ball, right? So you're giving this person a different perspective of what it could be, right? Okay, well, you have your perspective. Well, here's a different perspective, right? And I think that your person appreciates that because it gives them the ability to think things through. With you, Aries, what you give this person is you give this person the tools that they need to succeed. Even if they don't know what to do with it, you're still giving them all the tools in order for them to do something. The problem with this relationship, though, and I'm just looking at it right now, there's zero wands here. So there's a lot of love. There's a lot of stability. Like you, I can see that this person wants to be with you. You want to be with this person, but there's zero action at this very moment. So I'm curious to see what's going to, what, what, what does Aries feel is blocking the, the connection or blocking the situation? The two of pentacles. There's something here that has to be left behind. Something here has to be cut out. It can be an Aquarius. It can be a Capricorn, right? Knight of cups. Somebody needs to make up their mind. Somebody needs to be single. Page of Wands. Also, I feel like there's somebody that has a fear of commitment. Ten of Pentacles in the Sun. This can be somebody that's married. This can be somebody that's already in a committed relationship. And the problem with the situation is I feel like this person has a level of self-sacrifice when it does come to their situation. They sacrifice what they really want and who they really are for their quote unquote family. But at the end of the day, I feel like they're four of cups, five of cups, five of pentacles. They're unhappy, right? You know, it's going back and forth. I feel like this person struggles. They struggle with accepting, you know, like, like this person is, is, is in limbo. And I feel like there's a lot going on in their day to day where they feel like they can't focus. Night, uh, King of Swords. There's something here that needs to be vocalized that's been repressed or that's been hidden with this Knight of Cups. And I feel like it has to do with this person being single, but I also think it has to do with this person's confidence level, right? It's like this person has to be confident enough to speak their truth. They have to be confident enough to stay in this Knight of Cups energy, which is very loving and caring, right? But I also think that there is a level of immaturity when it comes to this person, for some of you guys, your person is dealing with more than one person, which definitely can be an issue. Um, and again, I, I, I think that there's things that I almost feel like this person feels like they have to sneak around in order to be with you, Aries. But the crazy thing is, like, they view you as their twin flame. So, and, and I think that they think a lot about what action to take. But when it comes to taking a level of action, I don't feel like there is any. I feel like they wait. And I think that what happens, Aries, is they get very close to you. And then like a typical Pisces, they run, right? When a Pisces feels too much, when a Pisces is in their feels and feels too much, they don't keep their head out above water, right? They dive deeper. And I feel like with this person, I feel like there's a lot of... Um, chemistry and a lot of love and, and a lot of feelings like a soul connection like there is some type of soul tie here between you and this person I just feel like this soul tie has not been brought to the surface and it's not a relationship that can be entertained during the daytime for some reason okay what is the um if you haven't already can you make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel um, what, what is coming in in the near future? In the near future for Aries and this person. Okay, the devil. There's somebody here that's hella fixated. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. Some like okay. I always say my my son is a Virgo. I always call him Fixation Freddy because that fool fixates constantly. That's what Virgos do, right? 
Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Moon. A lot of Cancer energy here. What I want you guys to put in the comment section is hidden truth because I feel like there's something that's going to be something that's undercover that's getting ready to come to the surface. So there is a hidden truth here that's coming in. Um, in order to win, you have to make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then um, put in the comment hidden truth. I feel like there's a lot of fixation right now on you, you and this person. And I feel like not only is your person fixated on you, but also this other person, because I do sense there is another person here that's also fixated on you. And I feel like it's the opposite of you. I feel like it's somebody who is very controlling. I feel like it's somebody that has been watching you constantly. Um, I, I feel like your person right now is in very deep thought, trying to figure out, trying to work out the kinks, um, so that they can make you some type of solid offer. But I feel like over these next couple of weeks, it's going to be a little bit slow moving because this person is trying to work things out. There's also something that's going to be coming up to the surface with possibly somebody else. Like, I don't know if there's like a message that's sent. But I do feel like there's a heavy fixation that, that you don't even see coming. Somebody can even be doing magic or like trying to control the situation underneath the scenes. Because how does Aries feel about this, this unforeseen event? Temperance. It, you see what I'm saying? Like temperance and death. It's, it's an ending to, to what's been waiting but I also feel like temperance is somebody that's meddling, that, that's somebody that's kind of coming in here and they're tinkering with things that they really shouldn't be fucking with, I guess. That's the best way for me to say it. And with the devil energy, it's like, this is something, that, like, like somebody has a level of addiction, whether it's to the relationship, whether it's to figuring out what you're doing, what they're doing. I, I, I'm not exactly sure, but with the moon here, it's like there's this person is like there's like a sense of madness. Like I don't know why, but I feel like th this devil and this moon energy, there's somebody here that's very fixated on you. What 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 action is this person going to take? Well, let me ask. How, how how does how does Aries feel about this person? I don't feel like this is you. Queen of Pentacles, the 7 of Wands, it's competition. What is this person, what action does, or what action does this person take, this other competition towards Aries? The tower. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's something coming, Aries, where I feel like this person does something kind of underhanded that catches you off guard. But let's see from their side, because we'll get into that in the extended. I feel like this person either sends you a message or they show up. This person does something super foul and shady, but the thing, Aries, is like you already saw it coming. And because you're an Aries, like you're the emperor. Like, motherfucker, I'm the emperor. What's popping? Like, girl, bye. I already saw you come in from a mile away. I was expecting you. You, you know, you're two hours late, ho. Like, it's that type of energy where you're just like, no. Like, I know, you know, time is money. And last time I checked, uh, you're not on my payroll and you're not paying me to talk. So, kick rocks. Um, how does this person, I don't know why, but I get in energy areas where you're going to be fucking pissed. Like you're going to be more irritated. Like this person is going to try to upset you. This person is going to try to throw you off your, like off your rock, like throw you off your pedestal, throw you, throw, throw you off, you know, where your, your podium, where you stand tall. Like this person is going to try to knock you down a couple of pegs, but what's going to happen is like, they're going to end up looking stupid areas because I can just see you laughing in their face. And being like, hi, have you taken a look in the mirror? Busted Betty, okay? Like, I ain't the one, okay? Go focus on your money, then come holler at me. It's that type of weird energy. Uh, okay, how does Aries person, how did they feel about their current situation with Aries? I feel like this motherfucker is stressed. Five of Wands. They're frustrated. They're angry. They're tired of fighting. They're tired of, uh, of being restricted, right? That's, that's Saturn and Leo. Like there's a level of restriction here. It's like this person is tired of the constant battle of not having what they want, right? How do they view themselves in, this, in the romantic situation with Aries? How does this person view themselves in a romantic situation with Aries? 
okay? Nine of Wands, they're waiting. They're still persistent, but they're trying to keep their distance, at least emotionally, because they know what's coming. I think that this person knows that this other energy, it's coming in tough. Um, what do they feel like is a block here? What do they feel is a block between them and Aries? Okay, the star. They feel like it's a block between them and Aries. The hermit, something that's not been said here, okay? Or them being quiet, them not expressing themselves, them not expressing about what's really going on. What are they hiding when it comes to Aries? Oh, shit. The nine of pentacles. Okay, it can be the fact that either their finances or they're working on being single or they're trying to get their stuff together it can also be some type of purchase. Um, what is whoa. what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Aries? What is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Aries? The Ten of Swords. They're upset, Aries. It's like they, they're I think that this person is scared that things with you and them are about to come to an end. You see, it's like they're fighting this ending. It's all nines. Like nine goes to the 10. There's a plateau before we hit that, hit this 10. And I feel like this person is fighting it because this person knows what the inevitable is because I feel like this other person is coming. Um, what What is this person's next action towards Aries? What is this person's next actions towards Aries? The six of swords. There's gonna be some type of conversation here between you and them. And, and, and what is the intention behind this conversation that they're going to have with Aries? What is their intention behind their conversation that they're going to have with Aries? The Four of Wands. I like that. There's your energy. That's Venus and Aries. So there's some type of love offer here that this person wants to talk about. And what does this person want overall romantically when it comes to Aries? The Six of Pentacles, there's something here where they want a give and take relationship and they want to have something. There's going to be some type of conversation between you and this person, King of Swords, the Hierophant, that's very different than what you're going to expect. It's something where it's like how you thought you knew this person, this tradition, it, like these are two opposing energies, right? This is tradition. This is non-traditional. So this person is going to say something to you that's out of character where you're going to be like, what the hell, right? It's going to be one of those moments. So um, Aries, oh, Ace of Cups is at the bottom. I love that energy. Just to let you guys know, we're going to go over all of this in the extended. The link for that will be in the comment section below. And then we also pull Oracle messages and that type of thing. So Aries, with that being said, this is your reading. I love you guys so much. Happy birthday, you beautiful Aries. And um, I love you guys so much. And until next time, peace out, Girl Scout.